Hey, Jay, how did it feel to just get back out there on the mound and face live hitters again? Hi, Meredith. Uh, it felt great, actually. It was a little bit strange, but um, I was actually surprised at the adrenaline, and I heard a couple other guys saying the same thing. We feel like we're able to get that adrenaline with that sort of competitive nature jumping back in. So um, it felt really good. Excited kind of for the next one. You had worked so hard this off season and looked great during spring training. What did you do during the shutdown period to make sure you didn't lose any of that progress? That was sort of the challenge to, to do enough, but not, not too little. Uh, I didn't want to waste too many bullets, but I didn't want to lose the momentum I was having. So we kind of um, stayed the course and, you know, I stayed around 60 pitches for the most part um, to kind of stay close to ready. So um, that was kind of my plan. Just what do you take away from tonight? I think it was just, I think it's smart that we're doing it this way. And I think it felt good to get out there around game time in the stadium and, and feel that. And um, um, kind of just, it just feels good to get back out there again. So um, that was exciting. James Wagner, you can unmute now and ask a question. Hey, Jay, hope you and uh, the family are doing okay. Um, just two quick ones. One. Uh, did was it any, was it a difficult decision at all, if at all uh, for you and your family talking to your wife your your family about playing this year um, and then secondly just so much of your behavior is going to have to change everyone's uh, to kind of even get this whole season going what's been the hardest thing for you to adjust to or, or even your teammates and talking to them like to adjust your behavior so far yeah. okay um, <laughs> it, it wasn't that challenging of a decision I think um, you know, we talked it over. The hardest thing, I think, was was leaving the family for 30-something days to, to come up here. Uh, at the time, we thought maybe it would be in, in Florida, closer to home. But um, that was the toughest part. But I think I knew all along we were going to try to make it work. And I think, to answer your second part of the question, I think everybody's really committed to trying to make this work and, and seeing if it can work. And we're being as responsible as we can. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's just... A, a little bit of a leap of leap of faith to uh you know we're in this position and, and we're willing to do it um so we want to be responsible with it marley rivera you can uh, unmute and ask jay a question hi jay thank you very much for taking the time it's good to see you um jay you have first an experience with um with being hit by a ball unfortunately um, when you saw when that happened to Masahiro Tanaka, what were your first thoughts and did you have any words of advice uh, for him for the next time he gets on the mound? I've only br briefly spoken with him um, and that was all, all good. So I'm really relieved to see that it looks so far like he's going to bounce back and judging by his comments, he's ready to get back out there. I'm sure I'll probably have more conversations with him. That's kind of, I think the best thing is to jump back out. I think the longer you wait, the harder it might be. Um, so I'm glad he sort of feels that way. But seeing that happen, you just you just hope you see, uh, you know, it was really good to see him walk out under his own power. And just to see him sort of bounce back is pretty incredible, really fortunate. Um, you know, those things can go the other way. So, um, you know, you feel for him. But, uh, you know, fortunately, I think he was pretty, pretty lucky. Next question from Eric Boland. Eric, if you can unmute. Hey, Jay, appreciate you, you coming in. You guys, as players, are used to preparing for a 162 game grind. Just as someone who's been in the sport for, for a pretty decent amount of time, what do you think this 60 game season is going to be like? You know, I think we approach it, you know, especially this organization, this team, you know, you come to win every every game and you come to play every day. I don't think that part's going to change. I think we're going to do our best to put the emphasis on every day and every game and, uh, you know, not get too high or too low. I think that's the thing. I think we all realize a lot of things can probably happen in a 60-game season. I think we're going to try to stay the course and um, – I don't know that we're going to approach it that differently, but I'm also not the manager. So, uh, you know, we'll see. But I, I think we're preparing to, to, to play business as usual. Thank you. Sure. Next question from Lindsay Adler. Lindsay, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Good to see you. 
Um, sorry, I don't know why my headphones are echoing. Um, James Paxton said yesterday that he finds sim games really useful to get feedback from teammates. Uh, I'm curious how you use these types of situations for, um, for feedback and for kind of getting ready for the season. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's accurate. I think, you know, when you're, you're facing guys on your own, on your own squad, it's a, a little bit easier to have that back and forth. What did you think about the movement on that pitch or the location or how it played, how it looked? And I think guys are just more willing to be open, you know, obviously to, to help out when it's your own teammates. So that part's definitely good. Um, to kind of get that instant feedback from, from the hitter where it's sort of hard to get that, you know, during the season. I will take one or two more. Brendan Cuddy, if you can unmute, go ahead and ask a question. Jay, good to see you. Thank you for taking the time. You got it. Good to see you. What have, what have your impressions been of Clark Schmidt getting to know him during spring training? If you saw him at all tonight on the mound, I know you were pitching yourself. I did see him tonight. Uh, I was watching for sure. Um, you know, in spring training, I, he seems like a really nice kid, very confident, and I think that shows on the mound. He's got that confidence and a little bit of that swagger. And, you know, you see his stuff, how it plays, and, um, you know, we saw that in spring, and we saw more of that tonight. Uh, I think he's definitely have a, has a bright future. That's all I got. Thank you. Got it.